already 2019 and I know a lot of you would want to apply for a new job. So if you are considering to apply for a call center job, then in this video, we are going to talk about call center interview questions and some answers that I'd like to share with you. So stay tuned. Hey there Ninja! Welcome back to my channel. This is Rhea once again. And in this channel, you will find call center tips and lifestyle advice. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Just click the red subscribe button below. And if you have already subscribed, then thank you so much. Before I officially start with this call center interview questions and answers portion, I just want you to know that I also have a similar video which I published a year ago on this channel. And this year, I want to do something more updated and something that I can share with you that's actually recent because I have asked some of my friends and family members who have applied recently in a call center and these questions and answers are based on experience and this is how I'd answer the question. So you are free to adjust your answers, of course, based on your own experience and background. You can copy the format of answering the question. You don't have to copy what I say, obviously, because my experiences are different from yours. So the important thing here is that you know how to answer the questions in case these questions will be asked from you. So let's begin. I have my notes here in my laptop because I have written my answers. That's also one of the things that I want to suggest to you if you are applying. Um, write down the questions or the possible questions and then write down your possible answers. You don't have to um, write it down word for word or verbatim, but at least have an outline of what your answers are going to be. So that's what I also did. For the first question that I have for you, it is, why do you want to work for our company? So just an insider tip, remember to do your research about the company you are applying for. A lot of you will not do that, obviously, because you will just apply to what is available at the moment, but it will really make a difference if you plan ahead and uh, research even just a little bit about that company. At least know what the company is about or what the products and services are, what the accounts are, for example, for customer service, if it's for sales, tech support, if it's a bank, insurance, or something like that. So at least you know the industries that that call center is handling. You will have an idea why you'd want to work for that company even though you know it's really your first time working for a call center so here um, on my notes i mentioned that um, you don't have to memorize anything but at least know the basics about the company one important point that i also want to say is that although we all work for compensation and salary you wouldn't want to highlight that at the beginning of course you would want to be honest and say that you need money that's why um, you are applying for a job but you would want to say something more significant like what your contributions will be what are the things that you can do for the company why you'd want to work for them Talk about how the company's values align with yours. Um, don't be too tacky about the salary at first and don't sound too pretentious or overwhelming as well. So this is a sample answer. From my research, I found out that your company has great values such as integrity and professionalism. I like that you always look after the well-being of your employees. I also like that your company values quality performance and for me, it will be a great opportunity to be part of a company like yours that has high regard to both people and performance. Aside from that, the company's compensation and benefits are also competitive and I believe this is important because for me, it shows that the company understands the worth of each employee. Or you can add this. 
this helps to be more specific but only if you really have a friend in the company or you know anyone in the company you can also add something like this i also have a friend who is working here in your company and he mentioned that you have a fun environment and great employee engagement activities for me that's very important because working in a call center can be tough so it's nice to have activities that will keep the call center full of life and energy so that's just my sample answer number two question what is your idea of a call center or a bpo now even though you are just new in the call center industry this is not an excuse for you not to know anything about the call center or bpo so please do not say that you do not know or do not say i don't know because i'm just new it is your responsibility to research about the job that you are getting into so say something and for you to actually do that again going back to the preparation part research even just a little bit about call center or the bpo so um, provide examples because these are the best ways to get your message across it doesn't have to be perfect and technical just so you want to impress your interviewer we all want to impress our interviewer but say something that is realistic and that is understandable and this is my sample answer that you can also follow my idea of a call center is that it's an actual place where people or employees make or take calls for their company or for another company this is to fulfill a certain task it could be customer service technical support or sales bpo is business process outsourcing in this kind of industry companies outsource a part of their business to another company or entity for example there's a telecommunication company in the u.s that needs customer support or customer service they can hire a call center to answer customer service calls for them aside from that i understand that in a call center the schedule is not the usual eight to five job because it has to function within a certain time frame that is asked by the client I also understand that I will have scheduled breaks and lunches and that I will be assigned to a team with a supervisor and a manager. And from time to time, my calls will also be listened and evaluated for performance. Number three, why do you want to work in a call center? So insider tip, I know you probably want to be honest and again say that because of the compensation or the salary and that it is relatively higher than the usual salary or other entry level jobs. This may or may not be true depending on the company because as you know, each company has its own compensation, benefits, and all, the, all those um, things. Although it is honest and straightforward, you don't want to start with the money stuff. I already mentioned that earlier, but I just want to point it out because you don't want the company to just think that you're only after the money. What if something happens with that compensation part, like there's an issue, then they will think that it will be just easier for you to leave because you're only after the money anyway. That's why you are working in the call center. Right? So think about that. How about your individual growth? How about uh, teamwork? How about the people that you're going to work with? Career growth and development. So this is my sample answer. I want to work in a call center because I believe that I have something to contribute to this industry. I understand that the call center environment can be stressful at times, but I know that I can handle stress very well. I also see the call center as a dynamic industry, so even though the tasks can be repetitive, I know that there's an opportunity for individual growth and development. It's the kind of lifestyle that I see myself immersing in. Besides, I also want to make an effort to support my family or give back to my parents financially. I understand that the salary is competitive and higher than other usual entry-level jobs, 
but even though this is the case, I can assure you that I'm very committed to doing my job or the tasks assigned to me. And I don't just do it for the sake of getting paid. I also want to show my company and my employer that I can do my job well. If you notice in that answer, you are telling the interviewer why you'd like to work in a call center, that it's a dynamic industry, there's an opportunity for individual growth. And then after that, you insert the fact that you would also want to help your family. You're a breadwinner, if that is the case. And that will also show that you are committed to really getting the job because you are supporting a family. And it's not like you're just after the money just for the sake of it. But you also really want to perform. Now, uh, in addition to that, if you have kids, for example, or really anybody that you're supporting, you can mention that you also want the best life for your kids and you will do everything for them. Something like that. Like um, supporting a family or anyone that you are currently supporting. Now, this is an insider tip. Listen up. Do not tell your interviewer that you are applying just because you want to learn more or you want to enhance or improve your communication or English speaking skills. Um, the call center is a business. It's not a school or a university. They don't need people who are still learning the basics. They need people who already know the basics, who already know how to speak English who are really committed to doing the job and not just applying for a job just because they're bored or you know they have nothing to do with their life at the moment so that is a red flag another is do not tell your interviewer that you are just applying because you want to try something new that can be a red flag because your interviewer might think that okay it's just trying this out if he gets bored he might leave after a month or even after just a few days and if you're thinking that please don't you know i know that the call center industry is like a stepping stone to almost everything but please you know keep in mind that this is a real job this is a business and it's not just a joke or or a game so you have to be really serious and committed to it Next is, what is customer service for you? If you're profiled for a customer service account or if the, the, if the call center is a customer service call center, then you will most likely be asked about your thoughts. Um, what is customer service for you? Research ahead of time again, but this is my sample answer. Customer service is one of the most important aspects of a business. The customers are the bread and butter of a business, so it is important that they get the excellent service they deserve whenever they need it or even when they don't ask for it. With excellent customer service, customers will feel that they are given importance and that the business is not only after the money. Building long-term customer relationships and loyalty that will let the customers feel valued and cared for is more important. It's also like going the extra mile to answer the customer's questions or to resolve all of the customer's concerns. So very simple, right? To continue, you might also be asked something related to that question like, what is customer satisfaction for you? You can get some ideas from my previous answer and this is another sample answer. Customer satisfaction is a measure of how happy and fulfilled customers are when doing business with a certain company. It says a lot about their experience from inquiring about products and services, choosing the right options, purchasing or availing the products um, and services of a company, and also the aftercare and follow-up provided once they have tried using the product or the service. So at least you have an idea of what customer satisfaction is, right? Now, if you are asked a follow-up question, let's just say, how can you achieve the best customer satisfaction? So you can say something like this. This is my sample answer. I can help achieve the best customer satisfaction by giving excellent customer service to customers and by resolving all their concerns or leading them to proper resolutions. 
It's by making an effort to answer all their questions and helping them have an informed decision about the business or company's products and services. Most importantly, it's by going the extra mile for the customers, by putting them in the front and center of everything and making them a priority. So I know that might sound too ideal or too scripted, obviously because I'm reading it from my notes, but you can always adjust that and uh, make changes to it so that it sounds more natural and realistic to you when you speak. You don't have to copy what I just said, okay? <laughs> How would you handle a call from an irate customer? So this is my sample answer. First of all, I will listen to my customer's questions and do my best to understand his issues or concerns. I will inhale and exhale to help myself stay calm and composed. Then once the customer is done explaining, I will acknowledge what he's feeling at the moment by providing empathy statements. Example, I will say, I understand why you are frustrated, Mr. Customer. I am here to help you resolve your concerns. After that, I will start taking action or do what needs to be done to help the customer. And since the customer is angry, he is probably going to yell at me, but I have to stay patient and professional and be aware of my tone of voice. I'll make sure not to raise my voice as well. I will not take his anger personally because there is a reason that he's calling and that is for me to resolve his concern. Those are all the questions that I have for you. I hope you have learned something and important points. Please keep in mind that again, make your own answers based on your experiences and your background and your lifestyle. Do not copy my answers if you don't feel like you know, saying it because it doesn't sound natural or realistic to you. But to me, my answer sounded realistic. I hope that this video will help you to plan ahead, to plan your answers, and again, to not make them sound too scripted, but at least have an outline of how your answer is going to be in case those questions will be asked from you. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to share. Subscribe if you haven't yet. If you think of anyone who can benefit from this video, share it with them, your family or your friends. And I wish you all the best with your job application. I hope you find a job soon enough. So that's about it. Thank you again. Take care and bye-bye. See you on my next video.